guys want to <laughs> talk about the E3 leaks a little bit? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. So this was leaked on NeoGAF. So we don't know, right? Like, it seems pretty legit, but we don't know. You know, it's yeah. all some discrepancy. Yeah, I mean, there's always there's always that like there's always that pre E three kind of like leak of the whole conference thing, right? Mm-hmm. So right, yeah. pinch of salt, but still, yeah, it's worth uh, mentioning. But you know, just don't take it as absolute fact. Grain of salt, <laughs> right? No. So the leak comes in kind of different stages. This is the, the stuff that the leaker was really confident about, and then the stuff probably is going to happen, right? Uh, so the the first group of stuff includes Halo Infinite, a new trailer with a holiday 2020 release date. Yeah, to be expected. I can, I can see that happening. Yeah. yeah, I can see that happening <laughs> anyway because I can see I can see Halo Infinite being like a launch title for the next Xbox anyway. There which you go. For, yeah. sure. Yeah. for sure. So, yeah. Gears Five, a full gameplay reveal with a September release date, so that'd be coming out this year. Wow, September. More September. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. More September. September's going to be busy. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Gears Tactics, a new trailer with a release date. Is this the mobile phone game? Gears Tactics? Oh, that's the one that one works. That, that's, that's, the, that's the get out of here one. That's the, <laughs> that's the one they showed during the conference. Like when it, Last year was the year of bait and switch. They showed us three games where it was like, and then they were, they were like, this is not what you want. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. A new trailer with a release date. No, uh, no day on that though. We don't know if that's going to be 2020 mm. or 2019. I'm actually really excited about this next one. <laughs> uh, Bleeding Edge, a new IP from Ninja Theory, will be cross-gen sci-fi game. Oh, cool! Ninja Theory. Mm. Ninja what Theory. Did, I mean, what did Ninja I mean, Theory do? They always again? do good stuff, right? What did Ninja uh, Theory? Hello, Sacrifice. But they also worked on uh, what was that? What was Hellboy. the one with the? What was the? Um, the monkey dude in the like, kind of post-apocalyptic city. Um, oh right, the, what was that? What was that? That was that was really cool as well. Ah, oh, um, no, I can't remember the name. But Google yeah, it was really good. Out. Google, <laughs> Google's the answer. Santa's Sacrifice was incredible. Yeah, that game was. Yeah, uh, you yeah. like that was incredible. That was a and for it to say it says cross-gen sci-fi game, that's. Ooh. I'm really excited to see what they can do because they created a phenomenal game. With Hellblade, yeah, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. On, in a way that I haven't even really experienced the game before. Hellblade was the type was of game incredible. where you you have a tough time finding things like like cinema and other other forms of media that can compete with the yeah. experience that it gave you. It was a very exactly. It was a very. Ex- it changed my yeah. outlook on mental illness. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Like, mm-hmm. full, yeah. full stop. Yeah, you know, it yeah, really yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Uh, other games they worked was- on were Odyssey to the West. DMC, Devil May Cry, and mm. Heavenly Sword. Heavenly Sword, wasn't that like a PlayStation 3 launch game? That was actually yeah, a cool yeah. game. And they got Odyssey, bad Odyssey reviews, but I liked it anyway. Yeah, Odyssey to the West was the one I was thinking of. The yeah, Enslaved. That was that was such a good game. Nice. They are they're a good studio, man. I'm excited. Oh, they are. They're great. That's yeah, exciting. Yeah, they are fantastic. Yeah, a sci-fi game from them. Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, next up is The Outer Worlds, a new trailer and a release date. I'm really looking forward to this game. Like, I, yeah. I hope this is coming out in 2019. I can't wait to see what, a new trailer. This is it. from the Fallout developers, right? This this is from the guys who made Fallout 1 and Fallout 2, like the real old ones mm-hmm. that the were OGs. like 2D top down. Yeah, and then okay. they also made Fallout 3 New Vegas. Okay, cool. So they branched off, started their own thing. Is it a, a separate company from... Bethesda? Yeah, it's called something else okay. now. They got bought by Microsoft, but they were already um, making this game when they got bought by Microsoft. For people that don't know, what kind of game is the Outer Worlds? Outer Worlds is what what it looks like so far is kind of like a Fallout three ish type of game, uh, but with smaller areas. It's not going to be this like big open world game. Mm-hmm. It's going to be very story focused, very decision focused, a lot of character development, uh, and you're going to be able to explore like a galaxy by going to like from what i understand it's going to be places that are similar in scope to like a destiny environment Mm -hmm. but it's going to be more like more about story you'll go out and you'll find stuff like you would on a patrol in destiny um but it's you know it's going to be have that fallout feel where you're 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 making decisions i'd play that game fallout in space fallout in space yeah (laughs) 
Fallout in space, I think, is a good way of putting Fallout it. Fallout in it's space gonna, magic. I think it's, it's obviously it's not for for expectations. It's not going to be like an open world game like right. the recent Fallout games have been. Got it. Okay. Cyberpunk 2077 gameplay trailer and release window reveal. Ooh. I am <laughs> so excited to finally, even if it's a release Ooh, window, no I'm way. happy. September. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, September 2019. If that comes out in September, full stop. That's what I'm doing. Really? I'm gonna lose yeah. my mind. I yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. September At that w, point, w, I'd be scared. CD Projekt Red to me has like carte blanche on my time. Like whenever they release this game, I'm just going to play it. Like yeah, The Witcher Three blew me away on such like a crazy level that I just cannot like I'm salivating waiting for the next thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Age of Empires 4 gameplay reveal 2020 release date. Dude, yes, I love Age, Age of Empires. Empires. I want that. Is yeah. this like a new, yeah. new Age of Empires? Like a modern? Yeah, 4. Age of Empires 4. four. Yeah. Wow. Not yeah, even right. a reboot. I think we need right some uh, Tefty City building. Dude, I, I, love, I love those games. <laughs> I love the Age of Empires. I will absolutely play Age yeah. of Empires. I love Age of Empires. But RTS has seemed to be that, that sort of genre that just have like. No one's really doing anything these days. I mean, mm-hmm. it's like I, I love that genre, but like uh, there've been a few like indie versions, but there haven't been any yet. So yeah, I'll be fully billions. down for that. There are billions. Is one I'm of so them. excited. It's kind of recent. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, I, okay. I, like I remember as a kid, my computer like kept crashing. Like sometimes, <laughs> like b- b- when I was quite young, when I was playing Age of Empires. So I never could really just play the game. Just sit there uh... and just play for hours. It kept crashing. Um, but yeah, that oh man, Age of Empires has a special place in my heart. I love it. Uh, I'd play, we do like a land thing, get laptops together and like just build up crazy armies uh, and then really? go head to head after like 30 minutes of farming and building or an hour or something. It was great. Oh, you make like a pack. Nobody can attack anybody yeah. until like an hour. <laughs> until we've like had that. massive armies. No, I, was, I, was, <laughs> yeah. I was always the, the, the scumbag who would try and rush right at the very beginning. Nice. <laughs> also, I'm also that scumbag. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, those games are great. I, I'm excited about a new Age of Empires. Yeah. Be fun. But I will Absolutely. say mm-hmm. I would love to see an actual Warcraft RTS. Oh yeah, like, mm-hmm. I like, like a Warcraft Four. Yeah, Warcraft One, Two, and Three. Those were fun games. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see the evolution. They're remaking Warcraft Three, right? Oh, they are, aren't Isn't they? Blizzard working on that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I forgot about that actually. Yeah, but it's been so long. I'm like, man, remember when Warcraft was an RTS and not an MMO? Yeah. Uh, next up, a Fable reboot. So Fable for the Xbox and Xbox Three. Did it come out 360? Was Fable Two on the Xbox? OG, I think so. Was that on 360? I think so. Yeah, I think it was an OG. Uh, oh, wasn't because? So, sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. So they're teasing the next gen Fable game. So this will be on the next Xbox, but the game itself is exclusive to well the next Xbox for a likely release in 2021. Because wasn't wasn't there a rumor going around that? Um, because obviously Lionhead on a uh, thing anymore. Wasn't there a rumor going around at one point that Playground, the ones that make Forza, were apparently picking up picking up a, a fable thing? So that could be really interesting. Because Playground are such a great studio as well. Like they have done, I mean, although they've been known for like Forza Horizon, they're like such a great studio. Yeah. Forza so is a yeah. very impressive that. game. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I'd be excited. I liked the first two games. I don't think I played the third one. And then I was watching like the development. They had that kind of like Fable, <laughs> was it called Fable Champions or something? At one oh, point, that was getting shown yeah. a little bit, but it, it looked like it was like a multiplayer only thing, and it didn't really fit. They with the... they lost direction with that because that that was their sort of like service one. They 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 did the kind of rolling beta thing, and then they tried to peddle a load of microtransactions on people, and it didn't go down very well. And there was like that was unfortunate because yeah, like Lionhead were one of the one of the British studios, and they and they sad to yeah. see they win. But yeah, but Fable, I, I love Fable. Yeah, I mean, I never played one, but I le- I played two and three, so I I'd be I'd be down for. Those games were just dripping with personality and yeah. like mm-hmm. kind of the depth of the world and the lore and like you you just like walk up to random people and they had like real interesting stories to like just just a random NPC. It was, mm-hmm. it was like, oh, I love games fun. where you you can just walk up to a random person and you're like, this is actually really interesting instead of feeling yeah. like you have to talk to them and it's like, oh, this is sort of a drag. Just coming across those stories that are so mm-hmm. interesting and really make the world feel alive. Mm-hmm. Love. That's what yeah. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas had that Fallout 4 never had for me. Yeah, it, It's really the, the difference between Fallout 4 and the previous two games was that 
I never felt like there was anything interesting <laughs> that anybody had mm. to say. You know, like it just didn't feel like when a world invites you into in. those stories as opposed to like forcing discovery. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, sea of Thieves is getting new content. That I'm game's cool. going to end up being. About. I still love that crazy, game. <laughs> crazy good. Yeah. Yeah. We we should get together for a play date on that. That, that game would be fun. We really too. should. That would be, be awesome. fun not to not to have hijinks in. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad uh, it's getting some more traction now as well as all well, because I it, when it when it first came out I wasn't you know I, I was looking forward to it but there wasn't kind of a great deal there so I'm I'm happy to see that you know they've made able to kind of breathe life back into it so yeah yeah, yeah. and the the community that's still playing that game is really passionate mm-hmm. about it like they're having a good time there's kind oh, of this yeah. there's this weird dispute between people who like see themselves as merchants like they don't want to play <laughs> any PvP stuff yeah. and then. The pirates, <laughs> like merchants fair. versus pirates. That's going to be the new content. They're going to real dial in on it. You can select your profession. It's like I'm a merchant. I'm a pirate. That wouldn't be <laughs> a bad idea, actually. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> but it is funny to see kind of like people complaining about pirates and see if it's really funny. And it's literally it's not even called Sea of Pirates. It's sea of Thieves, thieving. <laughs> right? Yeah. True. You're not a noble pirate. You're a thief. <laughs> Uh, Battletoads is going to get a gameplay reveal and release date. That's okay. cool. I have no idea what a modern day Battletoads looks like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, what is this yeah. going to be? <laughs> like, is it going to be like a, a, a beat em up? Or is it going to be like a side scroller? Like, what, mm. what Battle is modern Cuphead. day Battletoads? It's an MMO. <laughs> it's an MMO, yeah. It's a looter shooter. <laughs> looter shooter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any time uh, type of game they make this, I'm interested in seeing though, because I yeah. I like the Battletoads whimsy, you know, like kind of that knockoff Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vibe, <laughs> but with a little bit of like, yeah, we know we're a knockoff and we're gonna embrace it. Yeah. <laughs> Project X Cloud info dump. Okay. What is that? I don't know what this is, guys. <laughs> What's Project X Cloud? So Do I need X-Cloud to Google this? X Cloud is their uh, is their service for basically having access to the Xbox service on any platform, anywhere. So this would be this would mean you could play Xbox games on your phone, on your tablet, on your PC. In theory, on your Switch, if you could have access to a service for that. So X Cloud huh. is basically their their Skynet. Like you can play us everywhere, it's like a Google swap. Stadia competitor or like an nvidia what is their service Basically, called? NVIDIA yeah. shield Mm-mm. yeah essentially that yeah interesting hmm very interesting because they, they spoke last year about like cloud stuff but then we kind of you know there's, there's still that there's still that question of whether it would still hold up right now given people's internet connections and stuff but it'd be interesting to see i mean it's it, the industry's clearly going that way so i feel like it might be a couple more years before it's really established but they need to roll it out at some point right so yeah do you think it's kind of i it, do you think it's going to be like the VR stuff where you have a big rollout of a bunch of VR and trying to get people to adopt the technology? Then it just is kind of like, well, there's a mm-hmm. section that's into that, but most people still kind of want their games on their hard drive. I th- I feel like they'd have to do that soft rollout thing where like it would it would like almost go like alongside stuff where it'd be like, oh, you know, the people that have kind of got set up, they're like, oh, for convenience, I'm going to grab this on the on the cloud versus mm-hmm. like the people that want to buy it physically. And then when they live in parallel for a while, they might start to slowly phase things out and be like, hey, it's easy, much easier to get things on xCloud and then people will eventually switch over. Kind of like the swap to 4K, right? It took a little while before people are, even now, people still aren't fully there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess... I could see it being really good for supplementary kind of gameplay where I play Destiny mm-hmm. mainly on my Xbox, on a big TV, but sometimes I'm at the DMV and I wouldn't mind grinding, you know, some bounties, you know, mm. in, uh, on patrol, you know, on my phone while I'm sitting at the Maybe DMV. Maybe do a little or, butt yeah. stomping with a little force push on Rage 2, you know? <laughs> right. You know, so there it's not go. like a main gameplay avenue, but, you know, while I got a little extra time, instead of playing some stupid Candy Crush game, I can play, you know, I can play the game that I'm playing. It reminds me of this. Remember the Sega Dreamcast had that little vmu thing with the screen oh on it. yeah yeah and you could take there's one game skies of arcadia where you could take the vmu out and play a little game on it that would actually gain you experience for when you were actually playing the real game hmm. it was a really cool idea that never really got explored like mm-hmm. past that mm-hmm. yeah but i could see doing something like that mm-hmm. uh the next gen xbox baseline of specs mm-hmm. oh that'll be interesting Makes sense. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You think they'll go like full like nuclear power reactor on this thing, or do you think they'll yeah parity so, yeah. with PS4 or 
No, I, I don't think, think they're they going to get beat by PS4 again. Uh, exactly. I think they'll go above. I mean, I mean, well, because even like even now, Xbox One X is still the most powerful, right? Because they they like being able to say we've got the most powerful console. So mm. I don't think they'll in any way. Uh, and that kind of partly links in with that that announcement this week where Sony and Microsoft are working together, right? Because obviously Sony are lending the Azure. Oh, sorry, Microsoft lending the Azure services to Sony. Um, meanwhile, they're in return getting some hardware tech from Sony. So they clearly want to you know pile everything into the machine. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah, I expect it to be big, and if it's not, I'm going to be concerned for uh, mm. for it for the next generation. Um, listed under high chance of happening is Mech Assault. I haven't seen a Mech Assault hmm. game in a very long time. Huh? Was Mech Assault yeah. two the first Xbox Live game? Was it? Was that? I think it might have been it for the original Xbox, right? Think was that the one with the right. crazy controller or am I thinking of a different game? No, that was, oh, what was that? Oh, Steel Battalion. Steel Battalion, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always yeah. wanted that controller. Yeah, it was same. like $200, though. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. And super impractical, like, it just takes up the half of your desk. You're like, oh, I'm going to use this for one game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But that game always seemed cool. Like, if you died, if your mech blew up, there was, like, an eject button that you had to yeah, hit on that big, it, like... <laughs> And if you didn't hit it, you just lost your game save. Like, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I love yeah. it. Uh, so I, I actually like that Mech Assault game. I think it was Mech Assault 2. That was the first Xbox Live game. And I don't remember seeing another Mech Assault since then. But it was a pretty fun game. It was more arcadey than Mech Warrior, which is mm. in the same mm. universe. And I think mm. there's a new Mech Warrior coming out, too, relatively oh. soon. Probably for PC. Uh, so that could be interesting. A new Mech Assault game. Forza Motorsports tease for next gen Forza. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of. You guys play Forza? Do you guys play racing games at all? Not really. No. I, I I used to be I used to be like heavily into into them, but like with every single, I I feel like that the the era of sort of like racing sims is dying down a little. I mean, there's obviously still an audience for it, but I just I find it personally quite hard to get excited about like a new racing sim every year when it's like oh they've just added a few more cars in but you're still racing around the same tracks so or this new track so like for me it's not that it's not super exciting but they do have that cadence they have like forza horizon then forza and then this one so i think that's kind of just uh you know microsoft it's, it's one of their one of their ips they keep peddling so they're i you know i feel like it's the sports market you know like there's a dedicated baked in audience that absolutely loves those games mm. that have have them yeah. in their gaming routine and expect a new new version that comes out with refreshes the car models and all that. And because mm. I, I never play Madden, but I know it becomes number one most sold game in August or September, like every year. True. Yeah. Yeah. I used to play the Gran Turismo series pretty religiously for like a lot of hours. But like yeah. over time, like, you know, I just got bored with it. Right. It was like Gran Turismo 1, Gran Turismo 2. All right. Gran Turismo 3. It's just more of the same. Yeah, mm -hmm. but when I got into VR, I started getting back into racing games because the immersion uh, of being yeah. sitting in the vehicle and like being able to like look around and see the interior of a vehicle like you're actually in there really added mm. to like the well the immersion of driving this thing and then like experiencing Ferrari Fridays. Yeah, soon <laughs> yep. like I've, I've been looking at like Thrustmaster <laughs> wheels to put. Mount uh, to my desk so I can like kind of you know take that next step because it's a weird disconnect having a controller in your hand right but like seeing yeah, your hands yeah. do this <laughs> you know um and I'm kind of hoping that like Forza Forza is really good I played Forza Horizon the most recent one quite a bit um and I like it but it's not as much fun as playing in VR and I'm kind of mm -hmm. hoping that Microsoft jumps into the VR kind of market for the Xbox soon there was mm. a long time ago rumors that they were going to pair with oculus but that never really came to yeah, oh, yeah. Hmm. uh a new capcom game rumored to be resident evil 3 remake or maybe even a new dino crisis game oh that would be amazing like, for yeah. me personally resident evil 3 remake sounds incredible because resident evil 2 was just beyond expectation it, resident right? evil yeah. 3 was actually my favorite in was the that series. nemesis oh. was resident yeah. evil 3 nemesis yeah. <laughs> so it's weird because they kind of brought Nemesis into Resident Evil 2, right? That idea of the Nemesis kind of following you around with Mr. Mm. X, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it would be interesting if they do. Uh, I mean, Capcom 
kind of knocking it out of the park every pitch. They've been killing it right now. Honestly, they've, yes. they have been killing it. Absolutely killing yeah. it. Yeah, I know Crisis would also be fantastic. Mm-hmm. That would be super yep. exciting. Like back in the late '90s, Capcom was one of those companies where whatever they put out, I would just buy because yeah. everything they made <laughs> yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're kind of getting back to that to me. <laughs> it's like whatever yeah. you guys Seriously. make, I will yes. play because mm-hmm. Devil May Cry, Cry is awesome. Monster Hunter is awesome. Resident Evil is awesome. I think the last stumbling point they had was probably Street Fighter V. But yeah. by many accounts, they've really put a lot of work into that, and it's much better than yeah. what it released at. Yep. Yeah. Uh, then they just say more Japanese dev games. Cool. Fair. That would be really cool. <laughs> I mean, that's the one that they are massively lacking, right? So, yeah. you know, if, if, they, if, they can, if they can actually put a bigger focus on that, because that's, you know, Xbox is basically might as well not exist in japan so um yeah. they can do that that would be that'd be cool they be really Lost good the system, please. Yeah. yeah uh the third yeah. category in the leak are announcements that have a small chance of happening a okay. next gen rare game i do Does like that even rare get games. anybody excited anymore i mean it's been a I while like, yeah it's, it's been a while but i always just feel like that's it's almost it's almost like in a weird kind of way, given it's just almost like, well, if this studio is still here next generation, they're going to make a game. It's like, well, that's kind of what their job is. Right. <laughs> like, so I feel like that's, 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 I could, I could be like, my prediction is a next generation Ninja Theory game. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, but I'd, I'd like to sort of see what they, see what they can do. Like, Rare, Rare are always good at coming up with those, like, those wacky things. And like, I, they, they did see a thieves, right? Can... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if they can, uh, or if they just want to go and remake Banjo, uh, no, not Banjo. If they want to remake um, Donkey Kong sixty four for me, and just like, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy 4K with that. Four K Donkey Kong. That would be pretty yes. awesome. <laughs> yep. I would like to see another Conquer's Bad for a day. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> well, speaking uh, sorry, of rare, the where'd it go? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> speaking of rare. Um, Perfect Dark Reboot Ooh. is next on the list. Uh, reportedly in development um, with Rare supervising. It's Del- Delala Studios. Hopefully, I said that right. Interesting. What have, what have they done? So yeah. Perfect oh, Dark was the game that I played because they couldn't make Goldeneye anymore because they lost the license. <laughs> yeah. Perfect Dark was so good. They used it. It was a very good game. Yeah. Uh, let's. Does anyone remember the uh, the far side? In the multiplayer game, the one the X-ray gun that can see through all the walls and shoot through all the walls. I do remember. So when you're that. playing multiplayer, it's like, bam! It was brilliant. <laughs> Actual wall hacks. <laughs> yes. Did you guys like the one that came out for the? Was it? It was the Nintendo 64 or the one that came out for the Xbox 360. Oh, 64 is the one. The three. It wasn't. It wasn't the 360 one. A bit. Uh, a bit like. Eh. Yeah, I thought so. It was a launch game, yeah. I think, for the 360. It was, mm-hmm. Okay, so it looks like uh, this studio, who's who would be potentially working on Perfect Dark, makes Battletoads. Hmm. Uh. So that's probably the one that you guys know. They also did Overruled, which is a multiplayer brawler game, and Nothing to Fear, which is currently in production. Trap setting, scare creating, object mimicking, puzzle adventure. So that huh. seems very different to Perfect Dark. <laughs> it does, yeah. Perfect Dark is uh, it's a first-person shooter. That took a, definitely a lot of inspiration from uh, GoldenEye. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, then they said Xbox Game Studio announcement acquisitions. So they're going to announce the purchase of IO Interactive, Asobo, and Relic Entertainment. Okay. Mm. Interesting. Which is they need, right? To compete with Sony, I feel like, like blow for blow, they need more exclusives. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been on this path of getting back to where they had studios because they let a bunch of studios go pre this generation. And now, yeah, mm-hmm. they realize that was obviously a mistake. So, yeah, so that's it. That's, uh, that's what you can expect from Microsoft at E3. Supposedly. Supposedly. Rumors. Yeah. It's apparently. It's got me excited. I'm definitely excited to see what comes out of E3. Yeah, this is looking 
interesting you know some of the like the top category you've got halo gears ori that new sci-fi game from ninja theory cyberpunk age of empires there's a lot yeah. in that list that mm -hmm. is yeah, very yeah. exciting for me i'd say for me cyberpunk, and always... cyberpunk and halo mm -hmm. are the two games that i'm really excited to see yeah i'd say i for, I, I think from from that I, i'd say like whatever ninja theory is working on and also um like whatever, whatever falls into that kind of that Japanese category. Because I remember, like, what was it? Was it last year's E3 or the year before? When they, no, last year they showed off Jump Force. The year before they showed off uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Like those, those ones to me, they often kind of come out the, you know, the, the unexpected ones, and they're like, the, yo, I need these ones. That's true. Yeah. But, yeah. Absolutely. Really cool. Yep.